Good morning, guys. We are here at Gatwick Airport in the Block Hotel. So just before we go down to check in, we're going to do a really, 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 really super quick hotel room review. So the whole gang's here. You've got your, where are you? Got your H dog. I'm still, I'm still Jenny in the Block. Got the B, B girl. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dance, dance, dance. And this is our room. It is small. Right, if you're coming to this hotel room, you are basically coming for a bed, a capsule hotel, because that's all you get. Now, it is quite swanky outside of the room. It is quite swanky inside the room, but there are a couple of design flaws. Let me just go from outside. <clears throat> this is a corridor. Now, the first thing that happened when we came in, it was Later. pitch dark. It was 10 o'clock at night. We saw this mirror, got a bit disorientated, and there's no light switch, no light switch, no light switch, no light switch there. It was pitch black. We were groping around. Someone was holding the door. We were using phones for lights. We came over I, here. I was saying things like, are we doing something wrong? Are we doing something wrong? What's going on? Like, pawing at doors. It's this control panel here. But that, it's very hard but, to see what the symbols but, are when you're in the dark and you've never been before. But then once that was on, we realised yeah. there is a light switch, but it's hidden behind the bed. Not just behind, behind the door, behind the bed, behind the mattress. Yeah. So that's where that is. So that was, that was number one. Now the nice thing is, because it's a family suite, Bonnie does get her own set of bunk beds and there was decent enough um, storage under the bed for the suitcases. Not all of the suitcases. That's true. Some of them are too big. This one was too much of a fatty. Um, and then we had to make a decision as to who got the bedside table, basically, because it is wedged in against the wall. I ended up with the bedside table because I'm a girl and I have cosmetics and things like that. But it meant that we actually didn't sleep on our normal sides, which I don't know about you, Hugh, but that really ruined my night's sleep. No, it's fine. I couldn't work out which leg to dangle off the bed. It I'm was bizarre. I'm adaptable. I'm adaptable. Now we talk about your shower, Huey. Um, it's a wet room, <clears throat> which is an odd experience when it's going all over the toilet and stuff. Um, there's not much else to say. It's just a bit of a weird experience. And uh, the floor's just wet, so you have to sort of stand in the wet water. Because um, I like to get dressed in the shower room. I know a lot of people don't. I'm not coming out. So I had to stand on well, the Well, the thing is, you basically are coming out because it's it's a frosted door. So I'm not saying we can see details, but as a human moves around, <clears throat> and this is you on the toilet, having a shower. Does anyone else think that's odd? That's very odd. That's exactly what he was doing when he was naked as well. Yeah, that's how I shower. Yeah. That's how I distribute the water. The other thing, one more thing, and it sounds like nothing but criticism to me, trying to do my makeup and hair in the morning, is the lighting is ambient in here. But that's no good. We need detailed lighting to see ourselves. Now, in review, we've just told you a load of criticisms of this hotel. The truth is, would we say here again, yes, absolutely. And the reason is, it's in the hotel. We got meet and greet parking on the forecourt and then it was literally just straight in. And then you think of the alternatives of going to a hotel out and then getting a shuttle bus in or driving to a different car park. And it was so convenient that we probably would stay here again. Um, it was about £150 for a night and the fixtures and fittings are very high quality. It's not a doesn't feel like a budget hotel but for what you actually get in the room i do think that's a bit steep you're paying for location any final thoughts uh it thundered last night and that was good but uh it's not really a perk of the hotel it's just uh an act of god yeah oh you can see planes out of the window let's see if i can finish with the plane out of the window <laughs> 